Reus on the Ritz method. Let us recall the equation we have considered during last lecture hours. Minus second derivative equals 0 for x from 0 to half, minus 4 uh, for x from half to 1. With the homogeneous boundary value conditions, u at 0 equals to 0, u at 1 equals 0 again. In order to determine the Ritz system of, of equation, this system of equations, we need to choose the Ritz coordinates. We need to choose the uh, Ritz coordinates in the energetic space, capital H L, which in this very example is the Sobolev space W012 on 01 interval. So we choose the coordinates. Phi k equals sine k pi x, sine is very smooth function, then it is element of the Sobolev space, and that function satisfies the boundary value conditions, homogeneous boundary value conditions. At 0, sine 0 is 0 for all k, and at 1, sine k pi is 0 also for all k. Then we evaluate uh, the entries to the uh, Ritz method, the details of the calculations. This um, uh, inner product with a positive definite operator L with the, in the example is L phi k phi L equals integral from 0 to 1 minus second derivative times sine L pi x. The second derivative of sine is, is again sine uh, with the coefficient k square pi square because of the composed argument k pi x minus will go for plus when we evaluate the second derivative. So this product of signs we can replace by the trigonometric identity, which is half cosine of the difference, k minus L pi x minus cosine of the sum, k pi plus L pi x. Then uh, we, we can uh, consider now the uh, integral in the case where k equals l then this cosine will be zero this will remain uh, with 2 pi k x k plus k is 2 pi k and uh, for the difference it remains as it is for k different uh, now we integrate uh, this uh, expression then uh, if cosine 0 is 1 and we integrate 1 from 0 to 1, we remain with 1. Uh, integral of this cosine is sine 2 pi k x over 2 pi a is evident if k equals l. If not equal l, k different than l, we have integral of this cosine is this one. Cosine 2 pi times k minus l x over 2 pi k minus l. This is well definite because k is not l. And the same we have integral of this here. Now we observe that in the limits of integration from 0 to 1, 0, 1, and that all these three signs are 0. So we come to the uh, entries of the Ritz matrix k square pi square 2 uh, times 1 if k equals 1, if 0, if not equal 1, k different than L. So the matrix, the Ritz matrix, is in fact a diagonal matrix. Good. So let us go to evaluate right-hand sides. So that uh, product f k is minus four integral from half to one because f is zero from ha uh, zero to half sine. That integral is obvious. We integrate. We come to that uh, result. Now we write the Ritz system of equations which in the example is the decoupled system with the diagonal matrix. So uh, that is uh, L phi k phi k a k equals F phi k for all the k. If we write explicit form, we have instead of this coefficient we have here a k and instead of that product we, have, we are here. And then uh, divided by this coefficient we come to the solution which we see on the for in the formula the Ritz coefficients uh, are a cave star. Finally, the Ritz uh, approximation of the weak solution 
is the series of sines, which in fact is a partial sum of Fourier series of the weak solution we know of the, in this example. Now let us um, go to solve such a uh, academic equation with right hand side f. Uh, so uh, to, and homogeneous boundary conditions by the Mathematica module. This is the Mathematica module, uh, name reads, uh, parameters f, the right hand side, psi uh, reads coordinates, n, a number of terms in the approximation, a, b interval. In, we call the module uh, the, with the parameters, well, we have to define the function, which is the function in the example, these are the Ritz coordinates, and we call the Ritz of the parameters f of this f, and the Ritz coordinates these coordinates with eight terms in the 0-1 interval. We obtain the uh, approximate solution with eight terms we see here. Um, we know the exact solution. Let us recall that the exact solution is uh, u of x minus half, x half in 0 or 2 interval and 2x squared minus 5 over 2x plus half in, in the interval half 1. The maximal error, we are now able to evaluate the maximal error, the difference between the approximate solution and the exact one, that maximal error is 0 0.0004, is very good. So let us repeat these calculations using a Mathematica system. Namely, we go to Mathematica, we are in Mathematica, we open, we open the module, this is the module, we have it, okay, we activate the module, uh, pressing shift, enter, the module is in the memory, we enter parameters, the function f in the example, and the reads coordinates, and we call the module to get the we have it. Now we, we shall plot the module. Let us plot the module. We plot the module and then we have to define the uh, this solution we got from the system. Let us move it on the right to see it. This is the solution we have obtained from the system. Yeah, and that uh, is Vx with uh, delayed argument and that is that is the solution now we plot we plot the module we write the command uh, plot plot what to plot v of x uh, plot with respect to x in the interval 0 1 okay we check we have it and we put the plot under the, the name a. Let me plot on the name. Yes, this is the plot. Uh, this is the plot. So, this is the plot. Good. We have the solution, we execute it, and we have the plot. Now, we can compare uh, the solution, approximate solution, with the exact one, because we know exact solution. What is the exact solution? It's u of x, with the late argument definition is to be then equals if 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 uh, uh, x is greater or equal than zero if x is greater than zero and this is end in mathematica and the same time x is less equal than half we put half in that way if it is in the interval, that means the value of this function is minus x over 2. We remember. We remember. Else is 2x squared minus 5x over 2 plus half. We have it. We have it. Yeah. So close the brace. We have uh, that. We, we enter that. To the yeah we, we have and now we plot we plot the exact solution we plot the exact solution the exact solution we plot uh, and put on the 
name a, a equals plot u of x with respect to x in the interval 0, 1. Good. And we plot it. Okay, almost the same, the same, almost the same. This, yeah. So let us find the difference between the x approximate and uh, exact solution using the table command. Table, table, sorry, I have to correct it. Uh, this uh, we shall put under E. Uh, table, table or what to table? That means f, f or the, the v of x minus u of x table with respect to x in the 0, 1 uh, interval with the step size 0 0.1 ok, we, we have the table let us execute that ok, that is the table let us see the maximal error what is the maximal error? maximum, we have the command of the absolute value of e because that is under E and we have OK, that is 0, 0, 0, 3 and 0, 4 as we have mentioned before thank you